Hi boys and girls. Today I was going to review how to make a um, fun activity that you can practice your strokes. You can practice writing your letters. Um, and the good thing about this is it gives you input um, when you're writing so you can feel the proper way um, to write the strokes in your letters. What you need is a um, Ziploc bag. I say Ziploc because when you put stuff in it, you want to be able to make sure it's sealed and it stays inside. And then what we do is we fill these bags with different, um, it can be different things. I have shaving cream or you can use paint. Um, but today for this example, I'm going to show you um, how to use it with shaving cream. You can always also use hair gel, a variety of things. Um, I wouldn't use anything that would go bad if you put it in the bag. Um, but here we go. So you want to unzip the baggie. Obviously with shaving cream, you got to shake it up. And then you just... Squeeze it into the bag. You don't want to overfill the bag. Um, because if you overfill it, it won't work as well. And when you do close the bag, you want to make sure all the air is out. So what I usually do is I usually flatten it out just to see if I have enough in there. Because you want enough in the bag to show some resistance so they get a feel um, of when they're tracing or writing their letters. So I think this might be enough. I know it's not in all the corners, but what you want to do is you zip it up, try to get any air that's in it out. All right. So then you smooth it out. Make sure it goes to all the corners. All right, so then it looks like this. I mean, if you had put paint in it, it would be paint or things like that. Um, hair gel, you know, whatever you have at home. And it doesn't have to be this size bag. If you have a smaller bag, you could use a smaller bag also. Um, but what you do with this is when, they, when you lay it down um, and you can practice writing so say the tall line down you would start at the top and drag it down and then you can see tall line down and then what the kids do is you have them erase it or make that line go away like so and then they can do sleepy line across same way i think i might have put too much in my bag but sleepy line across and so on and so forth same thing there is too much in my bag but to make the letter a you would go down and then a, then across and it's just it's basically a fun way um to have your kids practice letters um practice lines things like that you can also use, um, instead of using their finger to trace, um, you can try a Q-tip. But one thing you definitely wanna make sure is they don't use their fingernail because when they drag it, it will definitely put holes in the bag and then it'll be a big mess. And moms and dads, I know we do not want a big mess at home. So it's just a fun activity to pass some time while we're not at school. And um, if you have any questions, please reach out I am always here and always available. Um, all right. Hope you enjoy it. And if you do do it, send me some pictures. Okay. Thank you guys. Miss you all.